We're talking culture and tradition as it regards or as it relates to death and burial rites. We asked a couple of questions. We said, what does your culture say about your uh, about burial rites? Mm-hmm. How do you perform burial rites yep. in your tradition? And are there some of these traditions that should be abolished? Right. Have you experienced? Well, as regards to burial, mm-hmm. the Bible has spelled it out in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 6 that we should give our a dead body, a dead, a dead to your parents or whoever, a proper barrier. Mm. They should not be buried as people like a sea bed child okay. who did not see the sun, neither enjoy the prosperity of the earth before it passed away. Okay. So you can read that to the hearing of the people and that also will establish more. But the government has the, the power to use gun and ammunition to bring down those elders. I give them the new law. Okay. All right. Concerning the barrier, mm-hmm. I heard to them some people, you know, uh, this is our tradition differs. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm, a, I'm an Igbo man. I'm from yeah. Anambra State. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, some people will say they collect this one, they collect this one. It doesn't occur everywhere. You understand? Like yes, in right. my own place, as far as if you are, you are in Lagos here, mm-hmm. you understand? You are doing everything they are doing in the village with them, uh, yeah. pay your dues. If that person die, they, they, they will not disturb you for anything. Mm. You understand? You will come and bury your, your dead person and go your way. Nobody mm-hmm. will trust you are following them on what they are doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when you stay in Lagos, it doesn't belong to anything. It doesn't go to a village meeting. It doesn't, like in my own now, in every burial, they used to pay one due, like 200 naira. Okay. Every, due, every person that die. Okay. If you are in Lagos, it doesn't go to a village. You have like 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. When that person, they will bring register and calculate that 100, 100 naira or 30, mm. 200 naira. You understand? Okay. So that person will begin shout or children will begin shout to say the, the, uh, the, the village people mm. don't want them to bury their papa. Is it, uh, do you ask your papa a question? Mm. Me now, I'm, I'm, I'm Lagos, my papa still alive. Okay. You understand? Yeah. If, I'm, if I'm not around, my papa will pay. Anytime, anyone I meet, I give them like 1,000 naira. They will mark it if sometimes up front, sometimes yeah. it will not reach the one. You understand? Mm-hmm. That's right. And then, in 2019, I lost my father, yeah? yeah. Okay. And um, I don't know. I wouldn't know who to really blame for all of this. If it's Christianity, if it's tradition or something. Well, long story short, we haven't been to my village for years, decades. Okay. And... Um, it dawned on us that it was a very, very, very silly mistake to make. Mm. When that happened, um, they brought out their registers and started doing a backlog of... of All that bills. you have missed. Hmm. Yes, of, mm. of bills. Backlog of, backlog of bills. Wow. And huh, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't funny at all. Mm. It was, we were bereaved. We were going through a tough, tough time. Yeah. My mom... My siblings, myself, everyone, and these people will come with their bills. You know what um, the lady said earlier in the, yeah. in the studio, the lady which you see you, what she said, everyone asking for this, asking for that, taking this part, taking that part. It was actually disgusting, as a matter mm. of fact. Mm. Yeah? It was a disgusting thing for me. Yes, you know, tradition needs to be upheld. Mm-hmm. People need to do what, well, the tradition requires. But yeah. You should cut some people's slacks too. People mm-hmm. are bereaved, yeah? yeah. And you shouldn't milk that situation. Yeah. You know, when that happened, I decided, I said, you know what? I told I told my girlfriend, she's my wife now, I said, look, when I get to Canada, if I die in Canada, if you put me on a plane, that plane will crash. Bury <laughs> 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 me in Canada. Mm-hmm. If I am in Somalia, Bury me there. Do not bring me back home. You hmm. put me on a plane, it's gonna crash. Hmm. These village people, they say they're against them. So, the time they are chopping the cow, me I they let God. I not follow them chop. They did not put register to register the food that is not chopped, and the expenses they make, hmm. they will not count it for me. Is that not cheating? Hmm. So that is the village. Now then they chop the food. So when the expenses come, they bear the expenses. So those of us that are not in town, when we come, they should allow us to do the current, not going back to give us a backlog. backlog. Hmm. Hmm. Is, is, that, is that your experience as well? Have you experienced something like that too? 
Yes, I did. When my dad died around 1993, we went to the village for the burial. Mm. And when they reload all those things, we stood our ground. In my place, I'm actually from Isoko. Okay. And uh, they did burial for seven days. Mm. But in our own case, we just did our own for three days and we left the town. Wow. They were abusing us that we didn't have money. That's why we did that. Use mm. church name to cover and we ran away. <laughs> but you know that as I speak to you, after a while, the whole town, I'm talking about Ozora. Anybody listening to me can confirm this. Mm. The whole town gathered together and said, why do we waste seven days to bury one person? You mm. cannot go to the farm. You cannot go to the market. So they decided that Three days, hmm. no barrier. Hmm. Wow. So wow. you do your way keeping, do the barrier, and then the last day, that's the end for three days. So after abusing us, they came back to copy our style. Uh-huh. And today, <laughs> that is what they are doing in the whole community. Wow. wow. What are you talking of barrier, tradition? I have been hearing many people complaining, hmm. saying on their own. There is tradition. That is tradition. And those people that are protesting that uh, um, they will not bury their people for seven days and um, for just uh, three days, all mm. those ones are not tradition. Mm. Tradition is something that the uh, ancestors have put gun for. Mm. Whereby when you go ahead, when you go ahead and not do the way they're supposed to do it, it hurts. Mm. And that is why when the Bible mentioned that it should give the it should bury the the, 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 the dead, give them their respect. Tradition Bible mentioned it very clearly. You will not go against it. Jesus did not go against the tradition. But he renew it. You know, when you say that it's generalized, for example now, <laughs> mm-hmm. they say they wash the dead body and you, must and you drink, drink water the water to today. prove your innocence. And you must do it because it's tradition. Or you must scrape your hair bald because it's do- tradition. Thank <laughs> you.